basketball you betcha i'm back in the building this daily trainer and i'm so happy to be here once again coming at you again consistently day after day trying to get you ready to get through this aau season as well as get you ready for the summer league season and then get you ready for next season oh yeah oh yeah but don't forget that we're also just getting better to get better because everybody's not playing AAU everyone isn't participating in some type of five on five competitive basketball with referees running up and down the floor so if you're just doing it to get better that's okay let's get started basketball you all right so yesterday we went over just starting off with that crossover right boom 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 we're starting off with that stationary crossover once again we're gonna lead it with that okay remember we're just gonna go 10 10 10 10 10 we're gonna go three sets of 10 on that small crossover then we're widening that crossover okay and then today what i want you to do is now we're gonna go with our in and out crossover Okay, so I want to in and out cross, in and out cross, and this is going to be stationary as well. Okay, and then our last stationary one that I want to do is I actually want to go cross, cross, and through, through the legs. Okay, so this will be without moving. All right, and then the ones that we're going to do with moving, we are going to go with our through the legs cross, and so we're going to move on that one. We're gonna go with our crossover through the legs and move with that one, right? And then we're also going to have a little fun with it. It may be a little difficult for you at first, but I'm sure you'll get it. We'll go through the legs and behind the back. Yeah, I like that one. Recently really been using it a little bit more when I've been working with people or training people. So it's an interesting move. It's a different dynamic but it's an effective move not to do all the time just to kind of help you mix up your your dribbling a little bit so we're going to do that again everything is three sets and we're going to do it 10 times once again thank you for showing up basketball you love it and let's give that a full effort okay and then we're going to go into attacking that rim okay so yesterday we attacked the rim with dribbling hard to that elbow okay remember what it's doing is it is showing you how to stop laterally when getting bumped and guarded hard by someone and be able to decelerate and change that direction and get back on that straight path north and south back to the basket okay so we're going to add that crossover again and then we also want to go through the legs today okay we want to go through the legs so you know just just going to give you those two to work on and again, we're going to go uh, three sets of five here. Uh, so you're going to do it five times. You got to go both sides too. So that way you're working that left hand layup. And you're also working that right hand finish as well. Okay. Then I want you to go into just for like a cool down. I want you to go ahead and, and just do one set of Mikans. Okay. So no free throws here. Just going to do a set of Mikans. And then we are going to go right back into dribbling again. Today's move that I want you to work on with dribbling is now we're going to kind of go east and west a little bit instead of just dribbling straight up the floor. So I'm going to have you go zigzag. OK, so not defensively. I know you got start sweating already. and was like, man, this dude's already got us doing defense. We just started to work out. No, no, no. I wouldn't do that to you. We're going to go with our dribbling still. And we're again, we're just going to work the crossover. But this one, we're going to do this seven times. OK. We're just going to keep working the crossover. The goal here isn't about just the move, okay? We want to drive hard to the block, crossover. Drive hard to the sideline, crossover. Drive hard to the top of the three or whatever area you have there, crossover. Then get to about that corner, that half court, or just whatever other area that you can mark it with. Once you put it down after the crossover you're going to just push it right to your right hand and then you're going to go you're going to do zigzags on the same side you're going to push it to your left hand and then you're going to go straight back down okay so that you can restart the drill right at the beginning again just take a quick little 10 second breather and then get right back into it the goal here is to kind of reenact 
what the game will be like when you have to go side to side to side to side will you be able to go again 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 and will you be able to do your move effectively and will you be able to do it at a decent speed right so maybe because you're tired you're going a little bit slower but are you still snapping your dribble are you still stepping into the move you know what i mean are you when you cross over protecting the ball as you turn and encounter you're making that move so all, all these things are important when we are going into this okay so just remember that and then we are going to go back into a quick attack from the top okay so now we're going to attack from the top after we get done with the zigzag drill and we're just going to work our simple in and out go and then we're going to work our in and out cross and go and then we're going to work our cross cross and go so all these finishes from the top drive into the rim and attacking so we're going to do all of those together okay so a quick recap we're going to go dribbling drills stationary then a little bit of moving okay then we're going to go into our dribbling to the elbow and attacking the rim. Then we're going to go and mix it back up to where we're just dribbling with no finish. And that's going to be our zigzag drill. And then from our zigzag drill, we're going to go attacking from the top of the key. So this is where you just go right at them full speed. Boom, boom. Break down your move and finish. And then everything is three times five on our dribbling to the free throw line and finishing and then we have zigzag seven times and then we have our attack from the top three to five times okay so you're gonna do all of that then you are gonna go to the free throw line okay you're gonna shoot five free throws you're gonna get a little bit of water you get your mind right again and then we are gonna get right back to it on the defensive end okay so on this particular defense today i want you to we're gonna run up slide laterally run up slide laterally again okay so it's like you're working a close out slide close out slide close out slide okay so we haven't done this one in a while but we're definitely going to do that and then we're only going to do that three times we only need to do it on one side of the floor then i want to work our two cone drill which i love so much yeah let's do our two cone drill and we're going to do that three times for that as well and then we're going to do our nba box drill where we sprint down, we slide across, we backpedal, we slide, we slide back, we sprint, we slide, and we backpedal. We got that three times as well. And then last but not least, my favorite, always has been my favorite because this was just a, a drill I always did in high school and I loved it that my coach always showed me or we did before practice and I just felt like it's helped me defensively a lot because understanding how to react right away when my lane, when my foot touches the lane line, it just helped me. Okay, and I'm still a good defender to this day because of that. And we're going to go three sets of, again, 30 seconds here. The goal is 18. The goal will not change until next week, but the goal is 18. So if you haven't reached 18 yet, try to get to 18. If you're overachieving 18 already, great. But just remember, our goal right now will be 18. Smaller kids, let's get around 15, 16, all right? Perfect. And that is what we're going to do today. There will be no conditioning I know you want to shoot every day because everybody wants to be Steph the Chef Curry, but no shooting today. It was just strictly moves and finishing and a little bit more dribbling than we typically do with moving in different directions. And so hopefully you got better at that. And then we always got to get better at defense, right? If we can't score, if we can't rebound, we can play some defense, right? Okay, we got to find a way to get on the court, and that's why we're doing this. I'm trying to find what best fits you to get you on the court. So I'm giving you everything I know, everything I got in regards to every area that can help you be successful on the court. Basketball you, I appreciate you, and I thank you, as always, for tuning in each and every day continuing to keep the streak of workouts going with the daily trainer and we will continue to provide some more content for you but i need you to know this someone's always working are you